0.02 cents per watt. That's the staggering, record low price of a solar panel today. A price so cheap, it has fundamentally rewritten the global energy map, making solar power the cheapest source of new electricity on Earth. But this energy revolution, it has a single, undeniable owner, China. Imagine a single country controlling not 10%, not 50%, but over 80% of the entire global supply chain for the most critical clean energy technology of our time. China doesn't just participate in the solar industry, it is the solar industry. From the raw polysilicon to the final solar panel, no other nation even comes close to its scale. It's a dominance built on a $50 billion government bet that has led to a global dependence with massive economic and geopolitical risk. We're gonna break down the numbers uncover the strategy and answer the question, how did China pull off the greatest manufacturing triumph of the 21st century? Before we dive into the data, do me a favor. If you want more deep dives like this, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Let's get started. Let's start with the sheer scale of China's triumph. According to the International Energy Agency, IEA, China's market share isn't just large, it's overwhelming. It produces 98% of the world's solar wafers, the foundation of the panel. It manufactures 90% of the global solar cells. It controls 85% of the final solar module panel assembly market. To get to this point, over the last decade, China invested over $50 billion into its solar PV supply chain. That's 10 times the investment of Europe, and it created a crushing manufacturing advantage. This scale means practically every major solar project outside the US relies on Chinese production. In Europe, over 95% of all solar panels installed originate in China. Even in North America, while the final panels may be assembled in places like Vietnam or Malaysia, the crucial high-tech components often still trace their origin back to a factory in mainland China. The core reason the world buys so much is the devastating price war. China's overcapacity has triggered an unprecedented cost collapse, making solar a non-negotiable choice for power generation globally. Since late 2022, the cost of solar cells has dropped by a staggering 80%, falling from around $0.20 per watt to its current stabilized low of around $0.02 to $0.03 per watt. Panels prices followed suit, plummeting by over 60% in the same period. This isn't just abstract data, it's a massive shift in trade. While Chinese panel exports have recently slowed down due to increasing anti-dumping measures, their exports of the components, the solar cells and wafers, are surging. This is the crucial twist. Countries like India, which are rapidly building their own assembly plants, still rely heavily on China for the high-tech cells, driving up demand for intermediate products. In the first half of 2024, China shipped an estimated 208 gigawatts of solar products globally. To put that in perspective, that single six-month export figure is more than the entire installed capacity of Germany, one of Europe's solar pioneers. China isn't just selling to the world, it's building for itself at an unimaginable pace. In 2012, China's total installed solar capacity was just four gigawatts. By the end of 2023, that figure had exploded to over 600 gigawatts. This makes China home to more than one-third of the entire world's solar capacity. The domestic installation rate is even more shocking. In 2023 alone, China installed a record 217 gigawatts of new solar power. That single year's addition is more than the entire world installed in 2022. It has created massive solar parks like the Tengger Desert Solar Park, one of the world's largest, with a capacity of nearly three gigawatts. Analysts now expect China to cross the one terawatt solar milestone by 2026. This domestic demand provides a vital buffer for Chinese manufacturers, guaranteeing sales even as global markets become saturated. So how did Beijing achieve this? It wasn't just luck, it was a decades-long disciplined strategy. One, strategic government investment. Beijing designated solar PV as a strategic emerging industry, offering massive subsidies tax incentives, and cheap land to manufacturers. This strategic support created certainty and attracted private capital. Two, unrelenting scale. They focused on building gigafactories with economies of scale no other country could match. 
by expanding capacity far beyond domestic need, they drove down the manufacturing cost per unit, a classic move to bankrupt smaller foreign competitors. 3. Vertical Integration Chinese firms achieved vertical integration, controlling the entire production process from mining polysilicon to manufacturing the final panel. This eliminated middleman costs and secured their supply chain against disruption. 4. Policy Vision The national commitment to achieving carbon neutrality by 2060 and the inclusion of solar in multiple five-year plans gave manufacturers the long-term confidence needed to make enormous, risky capital investments. The result of this success is a profound global dependence. The reality is that Europe cannot meet its ambitious 2030 climate goals without relying on competitively priced Chinese panels. Even the United States, despite imposing massive tariffs and domestic content requirements like the Inflation Reduction Act, still sees much of its supply chain ultimately trace its back to Chinese processed materials. Industry leaders are clear, remove Chinese solar from the market and panel prices could easily double in the West, dramatically slowing the global clean energy transition. China's solar dominance has become an enormous source of geopolitical leverage in the global clean energy race. They effectively control the pace and price of the world's transition away from fossil fuels. So, why is China dominating the solar industry? Because no other nation has been willing to match its combination of state-backed investment, crushing scale, and decades of single-minded policy vision. China is now the world's biggest contributor to climate change and its single most important supplier of green technology. This leaves us with the critical question. Can the world truly achieve energy independence and net zero targets while remaining so dependent on a single manufacturing giant? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this breakdown useful, please like this video and subscribe for more deep dives.